All right, today I'm going to show you how to run Red Orchestra 2 at a higher frame rate. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to your C drive users and then your username, go to documents and then my games. Click Red Orchestra 2, RO game, go into config and open RO engine in notepad or whatever text editor you want. So then we're going to search max smooth uh, frame rate. So we're going to want to change this value right here to your monitor's resolution. So I have it set to 144 because my monitor is 144 hertz. You're going to want to set this to 120 uh, whatever your monitor is. And we have to find all of these in the file. My file has two of these. And set them all to your monitor's refresh rate. So now save the file and let's boot up Red Orchestra 2 and show that it works. That's really all you need to do. So I'm going to be running Red Orchestra 2 at the lowest settings just as a proof of concept. Um, you should be able to get to run with some better settings. You're going to have to tinker around because it all depends on your graphics card what you can actually run at 144 FPS, whatever. So let's load up a training mission. Oops, see daisies. All right. So let's let it load in. And my FPS is going to be low for a few seconds until the map fully loads. And then it should go all the way up to 144. Gentlemen, welcome to Felter, that's Company 200. All right, map still loading. Well, we have you here. We're FPS going to just going check up. that some of your basic training has sunk in. We'll focus on basic weapon skills, but before that, we'll check out your fitness. So, run to those sunbags! Right. So, we're at 124 now, 143, 144, and the map's loaded in. Perfect. And on my end, it looks very smooth, so it's definitely actually 144. So, there you go. That's all you need to do. Now, if this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.